hi guys welcome back again to the channel so today we are going to sew the corset the off shoulder corset bustier that we drafted in the last video so but before then i'm going to make a circle skirt to attach to this half length to form a gown because i'll be using this to make a gown so i'm going to make a circle skirt and attach to this half length to get the complete gown the type of circle skirt i'll be making is 360 degrees flay that is full circle it's going to have two pockets at the two sides and a zipper at the back the 360 degrees flay will not have any joining so i'm going to show you a very simple way of making your 360 degrees flay without joining so if you're interested continue watching and watch to the end so you won't miss out of any important information so before we start the sewing i'll quickly cut the the down part which is the circle flay but before we continue we need to do a simple mass to get all the all the measurements we need and all the calculations very correct so for me the full length of my gown is 42 then the half length i've already drafted is 16 inches so the full length minus the half length will give me 26 full length 42 minus 16 will give me 26 inches 26 will be the length of the down part the skirt part so 26 plus 1 1 inch for sewing allowance will give me 27 so the length of the skirt is going to be 27 inches that is the circle skirt so having gotten the length of the skirt the next thing we are going to do now is to get the radius of the circle that is the next thing to do to get the radius of the circle so guys for the sake of the beginners this is how the circle skirt will look like complete circle this is a full circle so now for us to get the amount of the opening here depending on where we are fixing it we are going to make use of a very simple formula how is equals to c over 2 pi where pi is a constant which is 3.14 so the opening here is supposed to be where we are going to fix the circle in this case we are fixing the circle at the waist area so we are supposed to get this opening to be the waist measurement so that by the time you fix it on that area is going to match up very well so to help us get this opening correctly we need that formula which is r is equals to c over 2 pi and pi is equals to 3.14 all right this is a constant don't bother your head over it is a constant write it down if you want to make use of this formula it's as simple as that so we are going to simplify this formula now so c is the circumference that is where you are where you are going to attach the flay in this case i'm attaching it at the waist so my c is my waist measurement my waist measurement is 34 inches so my my c is 34 i'll be adding one inch to that making it 35 so my c is 35 inches do you understand so our r is equals to c which is 35 over 2 pi in place of this pi i'll be adding 3.14 okay how is equals to 35 over 2 times 3.14 2 times 3.14 
which will give us 2 times 3.14 will give us 6.28. So, our R is equals to 35 divided by 6.28. R will give me 5.57. I'll be making use of 5.5. 5.5 inches will be my radius. For us to know the amount of the material to place on fold, we are going to add the length of the skirt to the radius that we have already gotten. Do you understand? So the length of the skirt is 27 inches plus this 5.5 plus 5.5 inches will give us 32, 32.5 inches. So we're going to use this 32.5 inches to place the material on fold. Very, very simple. I have 33 inches here on fold. 33 inches on fold. Now, normally, for you to cut a circle, a circle skirt, you fold into four. You, this is the first folding. The next thing you are going to do is to fold like this into four. But because I don't want the circle to have any joining, I'm not going to fold into four. I'll fold it into two like this. And add my measurement. So if you don't want your own circle to have joining, then this is how you are going to go about it. So after I cut this one, I'll use it to cut the second one to complete the circle. Do you understand? So guys, after folding the material into two, the next thing I'll be doing is to mark the radius of the circle here. So I'm going to mark my 5.5, which is the radius, the radius of the circle. So I'll place my tape here and I'll mark 5.5. Then I'll place it here again. 5.5 I place it until I go around this so I'm going to measure this curve so I have 9 inches here this is to confirm to you that the radius will help us get the circumference of the circle at the center I have 9 inches here, 9 times 2 because the fabric is on fold will give us 18. So this one is 18, if I cut the, the other one, I will also cut 18. So 18 plus 18 will give us 36, do you understand? So it's enough for the waist measurement. So the 2 inches added there will be for the sewing allowance. From this line, I will take the length of the skirt. So the length of the skirt is 27. So from this line, I'll be marking the length of the skirt. It's as simple as that. 27. I'll place my material on fold again and cut the second part of it. So, to cut the second one, I'll just place this. So, have you seen how I place it? This place is equal. And then, I left something like, I, ha I left up to 2 inches here for my zip allowance at the back. So after cutting, I'll just open this side. So I'll just cut it out now. So this is the complete circle. I'll notch this point. That's a uh, the zip allowance. To avoid confusion, I'll not share. You see, 
So at the down part, I will probably notch there so that I won't sew more than that. So this is the zip allowance, and this is our full circle. This is the half. This is the half lay, which is one eighty, and this is the second part of it. You see, this is the second part of it to complete the circle. So by the time you place it, so this is the complete circle. The circle here is this one. Is this circle inside? As you can see, how the radius is able to help to guide us to create the amount of this opening here to size whatever we are we are going to attach it so if you just go randomly and cut an opening it may not reach or if it's rich it may be more than it may be more than what you require the formula is is very important as far as cutting this is consigned so if you make use of this formula you get the exact measurement you need here it will not be more it will not be less do you understand? If I measure here now, I'll get my waist circumference. The only difference is just the sewing allowance at the two sides and then the zipper allowance here. So with this, I believe you understand how to use this formula to cut your 360 degrees flay with ease, without any stress. I'll not be making use of lining at this down part. But if you want lining, just Place this on your lining and cut exactly what you have here. The only thing is that you are going to reduce the length of the lining so that it will not be showing outside. So with this method, you don't need to join anywhere. You don't need to join anywhere at all. So we are going to cut the, the half length from these uh, pieces that we have here. I'll be adding sewing allowance here and here. So before we sew the gown, I'm going to cut the pocket now. I'll just fold my material into two. I place my hand inside and take the shape of the of my hand. So the pocket opening should be seven inches or six point five. So I have seven inches here. To make this gown you need like three and a half yards three and a half yards will be enough for you and first you need to cut the down part the flare part before you use the from the pieces that remain you will now cut the half length and other things like the sleeve so if you do it like this you will not waste material so the next thing i'll be doing is to cut the lining i'll be cutting two two as well after cutting it, I'll attach my paper gun with my iron. Then I'll cut the wording and equally attach it. After attaching my interfacing, cutting the lining and the wording and everything, I'll come back to show you how to join it so that I will not waste time. Okay, so guys, I've cut out all the necessary things we need the lining and I'll fix my interfacing. So we are going to sew the cups now. So at this point, you are going to notch this side. You are going to notch this side and notch this side. This is where you are going to join the two of them together. To avoid any confusion, please. So I will take, I'm going to remove the pattern. And I'll take one from this and take one from this and then join. 
so this notch will guide us do you see so i'm going to join this to this then take this and then take this and join it's as simple as that the same thing to the lining so i'm going to join the cups and i'll be right back so guys i've joined the cups and i've given it a good press so if you don't want to make use of this wording, you can use bra cup. So after sewing the cuffs, this is what I have. This one will go for this side and this one will go for this side. I've joined this side as well. So having done that, the next thing to do is to fix bone in here. Fix bone in here from the inside. If it's sewable bone, you sew it and then use bias to cover the stitches. Or you use the matching thread if you don't want to cover the stitches. So it puts another bone in at the center and put bone in here. So, but for this corset, I don't want to put bone in. I just want to sew it like this. The next step is to fix the cup here and here. So I'm going to match this center of the cup to this center here. So I match the lines together. I'll just... I'll, I'll start the stitching from here. So I'm going to stitch this side and then stitch this side. I hope you understand. So this is the this is the lining. So I'm going to fix this on the lining as well. So I'll go over to the machine and fix the bra cup now and I'll be right back. I'm done fixing the cups and this is how it looks. So this is the lining, I'm going to use the lining to turn, to turn the neckline. So guys, this is the final look. The next thing I'll be doing now is to attach the down part. So I'm going to bring the, the circle skirt. So this is the front. This is the front part of the circle skirt. I'm going to fix it like this. You know the back side is too because of the zipper allowance. So this is it. I'm going to fix it like this. So I'll go over to the machine, join this side. And this is the back side. I've used the lining to turn the back side. So I'm going to fix one of the down parts this side and fix the other one this side then i close it and fix the zip so let me do that and i'll be back so this is what we have this is the back this is the front so the next thing i'll be doing now is to shape the two sides remember we are fixing side pockets to fix the side pocket i'm going to stitch from here I'll measure 9 inches and stop there. Then I create the pocket opening of 6.5 inches. Then start from there and then go down. So this is how the pocket will look like. I've stitched the pocket already and I left this sewing allowance. The sewing allowance is going to merge with the sewing allowance at this side. So it will be like this. It will be like this. Okay, so I'll go over to the machine, sew the two sides, and then fix the pocket, and I'll be right back. So guys, after shaping the gown, this is what we have. This is what we have. And this is the pocket. So I'm going to do... A small off shoulder sleeve so I have these pieces of material for the sleeve the length I have here is 10 10 inches I'll come here and measure 5 inches that 5 inches I minus during the drafting of the corset you know it's an off shoulder so I removed five I removed 5 inches if you have not watched the video, go ahead and watch it. I'll leave the link in the description box. 
click to watch so you understand what I'm saying. So that five in, that's five inches I minus is what I'm going to replace here. So I'll, I'll measure five inches, then add 0 0.5 inch for allowance. So I'll be marking 5.5. .5. You know, from here to here is going to be on the shoulder. This is my 5.5 here. Then up here, I'll be folding this side. I'll be folding it. So this is what I have. I'll be folding it with this amount of fabric. So I'll come down from here. I'll come down by five inches. I'll come down by 5 inches and mark. So the length of the sleeve is 7 inches. Then I mark. So I'm going to add my round sleeve here. My round sleeve measurement is 13. Divided by 2 is 6.5. Plus 1.5 inches for allowance. So I'm going to, from there, make a curve like this, a very slight curve, like this. So this is where I'm going to fix to this place. So to cut this, I will fold it, I'll fold this side inward, then cut, and yeah, I'll cut like this. So this is what I have. Remember, I'll be folding this place. So for a detailed tutorial on how to cut an off-shoulder sleeve, please go ahead and check it out in the channel. You can search for Chisom Ene and check it out and watch. Okay? So guys, I'll fold this like this, remove my sewing allowance, and then I'll fix it here. I'll fix it here. To be like this. Do you understand? So let me go over to the machine and sew the sleeve and fix it. I'm through with the gown, as you can see. And it's looking so beautiful. As you can see, this is 5 inches. And this is 5... This is 5 inches. So, I hope you like this gown. Go ahead and try it and let me know your results in the comment section. And if you have any question, leave it in the comment section as well. I will attend to it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that others can see it as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I will see you again. For now, it is bye-bye.